Do you know what symptoms can produce the metastasis that grow in our liver? Do liver metastasis hurt? Can metastasis in the liver kill us? The answers to these questions and many more in this video. Do not miss it, it'll surprise you. How do cells of a cancer located in another part of the body reach the liver? Cancer can appear in almost every organ of the body. In each of them has its peculiarities. But many cancers have a common aspect. They are capable of producing metastasis in the liver. How do these metastases appear? The first step is that cancer cells want to travel and that they want to do it in the blood. Swimming in the blood, cancer cells can, in theory, reach any part of the body without much difficulty. Why then do these cancer cells prefer to stay in the liver? The first motive is quantitative. The liver is one of the organs in the body that receives most blood. 25% of the blood that the heart pumps in a minute will go to the liver, which at all times is filled with half a liter of blood. The second reason is qualitative. With so much blood inside the liver, much of it coming from the intestines and full of freshly absorbed nutrients, in the liver, cancer cells can live very well. But staying to live in the liver is not without consequences. The functions of this organ will gradually suffer. Let's see how. What are the consequences of metastasis in the liver on the organ functions? If the liver is filled with metastasis, that is, of cancerous cells that come from another place of the body and which have no resemblance to normal liver cells, these hepatocytes, which is the name liver cells are called, will be pushed by the metastatic masses in continuous growth. If they are pushed, it is only a matter of time before the hepatocytes stop working and even they will break and die. When the normal liver cells die, the functions of this organ will diminish until disappearing. These functions are cleaning toxic substances and dead cells that go through the blood, production of bile to digest fats, create 90% of the proteins in our blood, control, together with the pancreas, blood glucose levels, store various types of vitamins and minerals. Therefore, we will have the blood intoxicated. We will suffer fat malabsorption, so fats will be lost with the feces floating these in the toilet. We can bleed very easily and make hematomas with a minimum heat. We cannot control hypoglycemia and we won't absorb the vitamins A, D, E, K and B12. But among these symptoms there is a very dreaded one in all people with cancer. Pain. Let's see if metastasis in the liver can cause pain. Why can metastasis in the liver produce pain? Metastasis in the liver can produce pain by two mechanisms, one direct and one indirect. The direct mechanism is that liver metastases grow so much that they infiltrate the membrane that covers the liver almost completely, which is the hepatic capsule. This capsule has many nerve endings that receive pain information and send it to the brain. When the metastasis irritates this capsule, will feel pain in the upper right area of the belly. The indirect mechanism requires that a metastasis in the liver ruptures some blood vessel inside the organ, causing an internal hemorrhage. 
The blood will accumulate very quickly and the capsule of the liver will be stretched, which will send pain information to the brain. Having seen that metastasis in the liver can produce pain, are there any other peculiar symptoms of this situation? Let's see. Do liver metastasis produce hiccups? Metastasis in the liver can be a cause of hiccups. For these hiccups to appear, the metastasis of cancer cells that is growing in the liver must touch the diaphragm. The diaphragm is the muscle that is responsible for keeping the rhythm of our breathing, thanks to its rhythmic contractions. But when something is irritating and stimulating it, our regular rhythm is lost. This loss of rhythm results in hiccups. As the cause is constant, as the metastasis grows inside gradually, the hiccups will be constant. We will suffer it night and day. And it will be very difficult to deal with. Grandmother's remedies like drinking backwards, like covering our nose or like receiving a good scare will not provide lasting relief. Can metastasis in the liver cause death? We have discussed that the liver that is being metastasized loses its normal functioning. This means that, among others, its role as a cleaner of toxic substances in the blood is gradually being lost. This blood full of toxins will continue to travel the whole body, and it will go through the brain, where these toxins will start to make the neurons start to malfunction. We will enter a state of progressive confusion, called hepatic encephalopathy, which is often the cause of death of people who have the liver completely cancelled by abundant metastasis that have grown in it. We have already seen the symptoms that can lead to the appearance of metastasis in the liver because cells from cancers from other locations invade this organ. Let's summarize them so that they are very clear to us. Summarizing Metastasis in the liver can cause the following symptoms. We will have our blood intoxicated so that the brain will work worse and worse until it causes death if the liver fills with metastasis. We will absorb bad fats, which will be lost with feces. We can bleed very easily and suffer hematomas with a minimum blow. We cannot control hypoglycemia. We will lack vitamins A, D, E, K and V12. We will begin to suffer pain in the upper right part of the belly and may appear a hiccups very difficult to control. Watch these interesting videos. Their contents will help you take care of your own health. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There will be more healthy videos to come.